Hey everybody, this is Ken and I'm showing you my old Gateway 2000 uh, 4DX2V 66Hz. It didn't even have a CD-ROM back then. It's a 46 with um, Vesta local bus and a 400 megabyte hard drive. So um, it has Windows 3.1 and, and uh, DOS 6 2.0. So let's actually... Back then, when, when I first got into computers, this was our Windows back then. <laughs> uh, we didn't have Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows XP. We used to use Windows 3.1 or 3.11. So back then, this is what, you know, how it was. You would, um, you know, at the DOS prompt, type WIN and it'll bring you into the Windows desktop. Back then, there was no start menu. It was basically the program manager so this is where you would have all your applications and stuff here so like this would be your back then this was the the file manager in windows 3.1 in windows um windows uh, 10 and, and xp and 7 it's the windows explore file explorer so you can see back then it's very similar um, you know to but back then also you only could use eight characters you couldn't have long file names like you do you know, in modern windows um, you had your control panel um, basically you know set up video and sound and mouse and desktop and printers and colors and then you had your printer manager where you added your printers um, you know you also had your DOS prompt, if you wanted to run DOS applications, you would click on it and, you know, get you to the DOS screen. If you do Alt-Enter, it'll bring you to the window of DOS, and you can run your DOS applications through Windows 3.1. Um, back then, this is the Microsoft Office. Um, they didn't really help. They really, it was really a simple version back then. It didn't really have Outlook and all the other... Uh, fancy stuff in it. This is uh, 6.0 of, um, of Microsoft Word for Windows 3.1. So back then, this was what we used to do word processing, and it was very, very, very um, old-fashioned. As you can see, eight characters was it. You couldn't go more than eight characters on your um, in your saving of files. Um, so this is and. You know, basically you had all your apps and stuff. It had a little window, and in the window had your apps. So it didn't have a start menu at all. Um, you know, um, so you had your games, Solitaire, Minesweeper. Um, you know, and then you had your tools, antivirus. It was very a simple version. Windows has really gotten very advanced now these days. Back then, this is how the old Windows was. Um, they even had WordPerfect that it didn't come with Windows, you would have to buy it separately. Um, so, yeah. Um, as you can see, how long it takes to do stuff. It's, it's a 46 with Vesta local bus or Visa local bus, that's what they called it back then. Um, so, um, this is your Word, another, uh, this is WordPerfect. So, they had Word and they had WordPerfect. So, yeah and um, also you had to ch you can change your video resolution with the uh, video changer app here where you can change your resolution it was very very basic you couldn't really go into very high resolution and you couldn't have a lot of colors uh, the highest colors I had a little error here I think the highest colors was 256 so um, but uh, and then you had your PC anywhere uh, stuff. But this is really Windows 3.1. This is how it was back then. I mean, you really didn't have anything, you know, as compared to Windows 10 and Windows 7 today. Sys edits where you got to edit your, you know, your auto exec bad and like it's like your registry. But um, yeah, it was very very simple back then. You there was no plug and play. You would have to go into the control panel and work your drivers. You would have to install drivers. 
using the uh, three and a half floppy disk. Like I said, back then they didn't have CD-ROMs on, on on machines, so you know you would have to go in here and do your 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 colors and like if I wanted to change the colors, you know I could I could change the colors. It's just kind of like you know let's put it to this that was this is the this is the default Windows 3.1 look. So then you had your fonts, your ports. You had to configure your ports in here. You know it was back then. It wasn't like now these days plug and play and then you had your drivers where you used to install your sound and your your you know your 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 video drivers in here in the internationals when you had languages um so and this was the enhanced 386 enhanced to help improve memory and virtual memory so this is basically a simple version of windows they didn't have internet back then so we used to go dial and call on bulletin boards you know bbs's so yeah, but this is the Windows 3.1. Um, you didn't have video. You didn't have. You couldn't even play video on this sucker. You couldn't do a lot of things. It's just basically a simple uh, machine. You can play Wolfenstein 3D. That was probably the best game back then uh, for this Windows 3.1. Um, it's uh, it it has uh, it's a uh, Windows 3.1 72. I think it has. 13 or 14, I think that's, I don't know how much RAM it has in here, it's a very old uh, machine, but yeah, this is my old Windows 3.1 system, so um, stay tuned for my, I have a Windows 95 machine that I, I like to show, um, so back then when we were done with Windows, we used to close it, and and there you go, it brought you back to the DOS prompt, and um, you know, that, that was it, so let me kind of show you how back then how how you know how the computer used to start up back then um, you know it was very simple it wasn't um, like it is today you had your internal cache external cache on the uh, motherboard and then it would just start you know say starting MS-DOS it will load your high mem drivers to do extended memory so it was very simple back then we didn't have like what today's computers are, and I'm, I'm I'm amazed that I have this old computer hooked up to this 17-inch uh, Dell flat-screen monitor. It's amazing to see Windows on there, and you got your power management. You guys used to have a driver for the mouse. If you didn't have the driver, the mouse would not work. So, um, you know, so um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, you had your drivers for the you know you go Windows 3.1. So. This was it back then for us. Um, um, when I first got into computers, this was basically the Windows that there was, and it was very, very popular. Um, so, um, but yeah, thanks for watching my video. Comment below and subscribe to the channel. I'll try to show you my uh, Windows 95 machine and some other old historical computers I have. Uh, around but yeah this actually is a working machine it's pretty good condition and Windows 3.1 is in really excellent condition so um, um, you know no errors no nothing so I want to go ahead and shut it down and um, you know if any questions or so leave comments below you guys have a great day and thank you for watching my video thank you bye bye